It's an all another quick video here, just give you an update on what I'm working on. And you know, things change week by week, it's pretty crazy. And uh, we've been working with a lot of different funds and investors, and it's really been all focused on the build to rent space. And a couple of comments I want to make about that. While you do have the large institutional funds that are out there trying to buy build for rent, and, and a lot of people are rushing to the space, I'll talk about that in a second. A lot of our clients are really turning out to be some of these more high net worth individuals, family offices, 1031 exchange buyers that are getting out of the city. It isn't just because of COVID. So a lot, a lot of times I've talked about how people want to get out of commercial because a lot of other real estate asset classes have gotten demolished and they're still getting demolished, but single family rent is staying strong. A lot of people are moving out of the city centers. A lot of people want to live the lifestyle that they want to live. They don't want to live in apartments. And really, frankly, single family rentals are kind of turning in, especially the build for rent, are turning in to that entry level home and they're taking that spot they're t they're eating into that entry level home buyer it's been happening for a while and a lot of people haven't been talking about this i've been hearing more and more about it so instead of that what they would say is drive till you qualify people are choosing to rent in areas that maybe they couldn't afford to buy a house they're choosing the lifestyle they want the other thing the amenity race that you see apartment buildings and apartment uh, developers racing to have more amenities more amenities and single family rental communities the amenities aren't as important and that's why we see a lot of investors buying scattered site single family rentals or maybe they buy you know 75 homes in a four or 500 home development they don't all have to be together they don't all have to be in one community with a bunch of amenities because the amenities they want is a house with a yard and a garage and those are the amenities they're happy with. So we're seeing a lot of that, and that's really interesting. You know, I'm on this quest to find more developers, land developers that can offer uh, permit-ready lots, builders that have inventory they want to sell, or even to-be-built inventory. Those are all the th kind of things I'm changing or chasing because we're seeing a big shift happening. And that is, again, with the single-family build-for-rent or build-to-rent becoming that entry-level home. I'm interested in what you think about that. And if you believe that there's this place, you know, I believe believe that for every entry level home built to be sold to an owner occupied buyer there should be one ready for a renter um, many of these renters went through the last recession saw their parents get decimated and lose their house and they're a little gun shy or they're more location neutral and they're saying hey i want to live in uh knoxville tennessee and maybe next year i want to live where i live in simbo springs colorado and they're willing to rent and maybe be investors in into uh, real estate in other markets and rent a house instead of own a home and it's something that uh that i've talked about for for a few years now that maybe it's certain situations it's better to rent that house and live more affordable than it is to get way ahead of yourself not have any money left over to invest but you're owning a home um, with high leverage so let me know what you think about all this appreciate you watching thanks